Alright, this is John Black, Super Chemist. This is my second attempt at the same same thing here. Um, the MSDS for this can says uh, toluene, uh, acetone, and carbon dioxide. Um, and I found out in the last video there are higher boiling uh, point hydrocarbons than toluene in that can that they're not telling you about. So I'm basically doing the same thing here. I'm spraying the can out into the round bottom flask there. Um, You'll notice that uh, I only have a set funnel that's big enough for half of what was in the can. So to the left is half of what's in the can, and to the right I'm putting half of the can in this separatory funnel, and I'm now pouring water in there. I'm shaking it up, and then all the acetone should, or most of the acetone should go to the water layer, and then the top layer would be just the hydrocarbons, including the toluene. Um, as you can see, the bubbling there, that's probably the carbon dioxide coming out. They use that as a propellant. That's what shoots every, you know, all the uh, liquids out. Now, MSDS didn't say anything about solids, but you can see plainly here that there are solids in that bottom layer. I don't know what the deal is with that, but at least they're in the bottom layer where we're going to get rid of it, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to clean this out twice with the water um, just to make sure because one washing is definitely, see there's another example of the solids. Um, but one washing is not going to take all the acetone out of there. Um, so this is the first washing here. And I'm going to add, you watch when I add this next washing. I'm only putting like a couple milliliters of water in here. And yet when the two layers form, the bottom layer is going to be giant. I mean, compared to what I'm putting in there. Look at where the level's at. Let me put it up for a little bit. Half of what uh, is in there is probably... You know, half of that bottom layer is probably acetone. It's still, it was stuck inside there. So I'm going to shake it up, let it sit for a while, and uh, drain it out. And then I will have half of the can, uh, just the hydrocarbons of it. I will set that aside because I still got to do the other half of the can. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to wash it twice with water and then uh, put the two halves together two hydrocarbons halves together. Um, here we go here. This is the second half of the can. I'm, I put some water in there and you can see it's uh, draining out. But, uh, like I said, one wash will never be enough. So it's always good to at least do two washings. So I'll drain that out there and I'll put uh, some more water in there and do the same thing. Look again, I only put a little bit of water in there, but look how much uh, that bottom layer is. It's pretty big for just putting a little bit of water in. So now <clears throat> I drained that out, and as you can see, I only have half the can here. So I'm going to go get the other half that I did, and uh, we'll put both the halves together, and then that will be a, all of the hydrocarbons that came out, all the nonpolar uh, liquids that came out of that can are right now in that separatory funnel. Now, I, as you saw, I was whooshing that hydrocarbons with water so I put traces of water in there so what I'm going to do is I just threw some salt water in that's even more polar than water and it'll extract a lot of that water out of the toluene that trace amounts still gonna be a little bit in there but I'm get, getting a little bit out of there drain that out and then uh, we're gonna put it in something so I can see how many milliliters there are and I'm gonna there's still gonna be a little bit of water in there so I'm gonna throw some anhydrous uh, magnesium sulfate in there which is Epsom salt that I dried out. And uh, what I got was 75 milliliters. Um, last time I got 60 milliliters. This is a little bit better. Now this is where the things change, okay? What I did last time was I just basically dried it out like you'll see. And it'll clear it up nice and crystal clear. And I just uh, fractionally distilled it uh, and boiled out everything at 110 to 112 degrees. And I only got 5 milliliters. So that wasn't such a great idea. This time I'm going to do the azeotropic distillation. I got uh, 75 milliliters of hydrocarbon. Uh, at most there's going to be 30 milliliters of toluene in there. There ain't even going to be that much, but just to make sure. Uh, so I would need 90 milliliters of methanol. Okay, uh, So that would give me 120 milliliters of azeotrope that I should be able to get out of there. Now instead of having to boil it at 111 degrees Celsius, I'm only boiling it at uh, 64.3 degrees so it's nice and easy to get out of there all I got to do is use a hot water bath and I can I can get it out of there nice and nice and easy um, I did everything I did pretty fast distillation 
Uh, but I kept it between 63 and 65 degrees Celsius at all times. Uh, so it wasn't that, that bad. Now the most the can says that you can get out of this thing is 22 and a half to 45 uh, milliliters of uh, toluene. So five milliliters is nothing. I, I would hope you're not going to get exactly as, you know, because you're always going to have some loss. So I would hope I could at least get 20 milliliters of toluene out of this, out of each can. And uh, the way I knew when I was done, like I said, I used a hot water bath. Now you can see, this is all nice and crystal clear up there, but look down towards the bottom. My camera doesn't do it justice, but an oil film has started to collect. It can't get past up into the Vigorex column, can barely get to the top of the uh, round bottom flask, the pot. Uh, but you can plainly see that it is, up top it's clear, and down bottom you can see it's oily, it's not uh, making beads. Uh, if, you, if my camera was better, you'd see it just looks like someone smeared a bunch of oil on it. That is the next front coming up. Now, I know that that is not my azeotrope. It doesn't look the same. It's, you know, and no matter how much I boil that water, I took that water all the way up to boiling, and uh, I could not get it to go further than where it is right now. So I could not get it to go into the Vigorex column. Um, and whatever was left in the Vigorex column, that's the great thing about an azeotropic distillation. Even if I have four, four milliliters left in the Vigorex column, only one milliliter is toluene uh, instead of four. Uh, so that's a nice, nice thing there too, okay? Now this is the end here. The left is uh, the high boiling hydrocarbons. The right is the azeotropic uh, toluene methyl, methyl alcohol. And uh, now I'm basically going to do the same thing I did in the beginning of the video. Instead of trying to get rid of acetone, I'm trying to get rid of methanol. I'm going to do it the same exact way. I'm going to add water. Here we go. I put the uh, toluene into that set funnel and I'm going to add some water into it. And all the methanol will go to for two layers. Bottom layer will be water and methanol. Top layer will be the toluene. Okay. Now already, even without shaking it, I can see there's more than five milliliters of toluene there. So looks good so far. Shake it up and I let it sit there for a while. And uh, when I come back, <coughs> I drain out that bottom layer, like I said. Add some more. Drain it out. Basically, doing the same thing. Just like in the beginning, I want to get rid of some of that water. I was just washing my toluene with water, so there's traces of water. So I threw some salt water in there. That's the bottom layer you see dra me draining out right now. Now I should have pure toluene there, except with a little bit of water in it. Uh, traces of water. So I'll drain it out, see how much it, it is. And I will add some anhydrous uh, magnesium sulfate to dry it out. And you will see that it is 22 milliliters. Okay? And the minimum you should get is 22 and a half so I'm doing pretty good there um, basically I went back to the first can I did an azeotropic distillation with it and I got a third can and I did this whole process with it basically the average was 22 milliliters per can okay now I added those three three uh, things together that made 66 milliliters and I fractionally distilled that okay uh, between 100 and uh, 110 and 111.2 and uh, I got 40 milliliters uh, 
out of that. So on average, I got about 13 and a half milliliters per can. Now I want you to look at this. I saved this for last because I want you to check out this. If you look at this, you can magnify it with your magnifier. You'll see the front coming up. This is the first the azeotropic uh, distillation where the methanol toluene is coming up. You'll see at the bottom it's moving up, moving up. And it, you can just see it. Uh, now it's in the middle there. It's going to start putting uh, drops on that, that little V-shaped thing. But you can see how it just moves up. getting to the top. Anyways, I want you to remember, science is great.